Hello everyone, this is Norkachilda here, and welcome back to another review of some new content. So, today, um, a few hours ago, Rob Top Games posted a video, and there really isn't a uh, specific title like Geometry Dash 2.1, blah blah blah, but it's just Fireballs. Okay, you can see that, Fireballs. It's just Fireballs. Like, honestly, fireballs. Just fireballs, question mark. Um, so let's just jump right into this. There are a few things that um, I don't really understand and I'm going to try to talk about um, and ask for your opinions on, but let's just get started. Alright, so the first shot we see a new ground and a new background. I kind of like the background. The ground kind of looks a little ugly, but I like the background. Also, we have these little rock decorations on the ground, and then these these decorations right here and here. I don't know. Yeah, those are like sparkling, sort of. But the biggest thing you can see is this um, fireball effect, and this is like from Mario, definitely. That is very iconic from the Super Mario Brothers franchise. And I don't really know if I like it too much, because... First of all, like, he's taking a lot of things from other games, and it's sort of making me feel that, like, he d he's not really having too many original ideas. But then again, it's, it will, I think it will be a cool feature, and I think people can utilize it in good ways to make levels interesting and fun. So that's that. There's also, like, an effect behind the top one. Uh, spinning around. We've also got one of these new, like, monsters who are flying, sort of. It just, like, popped up. And there, it just shot out a fireball. So these guys will be able to shoot out fireballs. And I don't know if, if you need to... I don't know if, like, that's a thing that the monster will just be able to do, or if you have to have a fireball effect and then use the move trigger and stuff. I don't know. Something like that. And now we've got these rocks. Not rocks. Like, they're sort of like gems, I guess. I don't know. Are they gems? Yeah, I guess I'm just going to call them like gems or rocks or something. But here you can also see the waterfall effect, which is which I actually kind of like. I didn't think I'd like it too much, but it, it, it looks good. It doesn't doesn't look too bad. I like the bubbling down here. And also we still have these sparkles throughout the level. But then we have this thing. I don't know what this is. This is the first thing I'm going to like ask your opinion on in the comments. I really am not too sure what this could be. It really is just, it's like a square, but then like it turns invisible and it's like, it's kind of weird. I really don't know what that is. And then we've got one, um, shoot. We got one more of these guys, and he shoots another fireball. This time, it kills the icon. And then we have some more little rock decorations and more of these weird blocks, so I really don't know what these are. But then, here you see the new portal. This looks like this will be the spider portal, the new vehicle. Um, it, it It's purple, but it seems to me that these like little dots on the outside are pink and these are pink too so maybe he's going to change that texture because it, it it's like the same as a ship but the only thing that's different is this color right here so he dies fades to black and then we get another screen so here we have um it looks like a new difficulty logo but this is a new vault i'm guessing and i uh, we already know that rob top said that he would be releasing a new vault in 2.1 and this is cool. It's like a little blue guy with, or like a dark blue guy with light blue glowing eyes. And uh, he's like on a door, sort of, which is kind of cool. He's on like a stone door, and there's a little triangle on his head, so, Illuminati confirmed! <laughs> uh, and then, this will also be quite interesting, because um, I really do think that the vault was a fun idea because in the first month of 2.0 and even like the first week of when 2.1 came out people were just like trying out these codes and like were really like interested in them 
really wanted to know them so they could unlock icons. So it's kind of fun to like solve the codes. So I really think this will be a fun idea for the beginning of 2.1. Alright, so that is the end of the video. There you can see Eric Van Wilderman's beautiful face. If I play the video... Okay, hold on. Oh, shoot. I just want to see Eric Van Wilderman's beautiful face. There we go. That There it is. There's Eric Van Wilderman's beautiful face. Okay, so... I mean, I... I guess, like, it's kind of good that Rob Top is making some more of these videos where it isn't, like, the sneak peek, because he started, like, with the example in like July or something. Oh, I also forgot one thing. I didn't really see that. There are like these purple and green like particles that are like floating counterclockwise to the fireballs. So maybe that could be um an effect similar to like the um the spinning circles that like people put around portals and stuff. Yeah, so it looks like that. But anyway, uh about th these types of videos that aren't sneak peeks, I kind of think it's good because it's not like showing part of the level it's showing sort of the whole update as a whole and i feel like that should really be labeled as, as as a sneak peek but i don't know i think i kind of like these better than the level even though the level ones are fun um but yeah 2.1 looks pretty cool a lot different than 2.0 there are a lot of um of different things and uh, i'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna how it's gonna work, and I'm sure people will be able to do crazy things that I that will annoy the hell out of me. But I think it's gonna be cool, and I am happy that Rob Top is sticking with this game and making trying to make it better even after the big update 2.0. So, guys, thank you for watching Fireballs review, and yeah, that is about it. I'll play it through one more time at the end, and. Uh, yeah, guys, see you in 2.1 with fireballs. <laughs>